There are stories I remember about being in the middle of three. My big brother above me and trailing behind my little sister with the skinny legs and huge eyes. Stories about that same old blustery song coming out of my dad's little stereo on Radio Kosa early, early in the morning. How he'd let me hang on to sleep even let me dream while he washed me in the warm bath as he got me ready for school there are stories about lying in bed with my mother she was sick i lay tucked into her while she taught me how to color in between the lines there are stories about two little girls in pink frocks and white socks girls who suddenly find themselves in a world without mama a yawning hole in the middle of the ground my mother's death was just the start of so many stories. And when you're a kid, you're written into other people's narratives all the time. The story of how to be a good girl, comb your hair, sit with your legs closed, do your chores, fall in line. And then later, people tell you to open those limbs and close your mouth. Be a good girl, grateful, obedient, and quiet. So many stories. As I grew older though, I realized there was a reason I liked to wear the raggedy clothes that I did. Why I listened to the music I loved to. Why I preferred to read rather than play with the other kids in the hood. Why I wrote poetry and why I loved pretending to be somebody else. Why I so enjoyed being in that mass of bodies, singing with one voice, toy toying in step before we dodged rubber bullets and scattered fleeing tear gas canisters. Why I like to sing. The reason is that it's me. Because all the stories that bubble inside me meld and merge with those of the people around me so that sometimes I can't tell where I end or where I begin. That's what makes me me.